In this tutorial, I will show you how to crochet a super simple triangle shawl using a Lion Brand Mandala yarn cake. If you're new to my channel, my name is Wilma and I share free crochet patterns on my blog and YouTube channel. If you like this type of videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell button. This way you will get notifications when I upload new patterns. For this shawl you will need a mandala yarn cake and crochet hook 6mm. We will start with a magic ring. And chain 3. Then we work 2 double crochet stitches into the ring. chain 2 and another 3 double crochet stitches in the ring. In row 2 we will start with 3 chains and we work 2 double crochet stitches in the first stitch. Then we work 1 double crochet stitch in each stitch till the center chain 2 space. Here we will work 1 double crochet, chain 2, 1 double crochet in the chain 2 space. Then we continue working 1 double crochet stitch in each stitch till the last stitch. And then we work 3 double crochet stitches in the last stitch. Row 3 we will chain 3 and work 2 double crochet stitches in the first stitch. Chain 1 and skip the next stitch. Repeat this till the center chain 2 space. In the center chain 2 space we will work 1 double crochet stitch, chain 2, 1 double crochet stitch. And then again we chain 1, skip the next stitch and work 1 double crochet stitch in the next stitch. Repeat this till the end. At the end we will chain 1, skip the next stitch and work 3 double crochet stitches in the last stitch. Row 4 we will chain 3 and work 1 double crochet stitch in the first stitch. Then we chain 1 and work 1 double crochet stitch in the next stitch. Chain 1, skip the next stitch and work 1 double crochet stitch in the next chain space. Repeat this till the center chain 2 space.
chain 1, skip the next stitch and work 1 double crochet stitch, chain 2, 1 double crochet stitch into the center, chain 2 space. Then again we will chain 1, skip the next stitch and work 1 double crochet stitch in the next chain space. Repeat this till the end. At the end we will chain 1, skip the next stitch, work 1 double crochet stitch in the next stitch, chain 1 and work 2 double crochet stitches in the last stitch. Row 5 we will chain 3, work 2 double crochet stitches in the first stitch, and 1 double crochet stitch in the next stitch. Now we will work 1 double crochet stitch in the next chain space and 1 double crochet stitch in the next stitch. Repeat this till the center chain 2 space. Work 1 double crochet stitch, chain 2, 1 double crochet stitch in the center chain 2 space. And then work 1 double crochet stitch in the next stitch and 1 double crochet stitch in the next chain space. Repeat this till the end. We will end with a double crochet stitch in the next stitch and 3 double crochet stitches in the last stitch. We have now finished the first 5 rows and all you need to do now is repeat row 2 till 5 9 more times or till you think the shawl is big enough. Make sure to repeat row 2 one more time so you will end with 2 rows of double crochet stitches. All you need to do now is add some tassels and I will quickly show you how to make them. Just wrap the yarn around your hand or phone till you think it's big enough. I wrapped the yarn around my phone about 25 times. Then you cut two more strands and you fold one of the strands around the top. Then you cut open the other side and you will tie another strand around the top about one or two centimeters from the top knot. Then trim the bottom so all the strands are perfectly even and attach the tassel to your shawl. I made a total of 3 tassels and added them to each shawl end. And that's it! I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which yarn and collage you are going to use. Hope to see you next time. Bye!